Uh, hello, this is a note about setting up um, setting up QT VLM for the type of work we will do in our online courses at Star Path School of Navigation. And uh, in this video, I'm not discussing the actual functionality of any of these buttons or links. I'm just uh, talking about ways to just just a little overview, sort of a walkabout here of the program. There'll probably be two or three of these or maybe 10 minutes each, uh, just as a discussion to get set up. And then we'll go on from we'll go on from there. This is a way uh, with with we've got all kinds of special videos on the different functionalities. But this is a way the program is first installed. This is a clean, clean install with nothing going on here. Uh, then, um, so the boat ends up in France, reasonably enough, it's a French program, and then you can zoom out this way, or you can hit this minus, one to one button is a very nice button, that brings you out to the globe. What we see first, or at least one thing that struck me, is this is a terminator here between, this is sun, this is sunset here, or dark, darkness here, moving this, getting darker, going this way right now. Now that's a very handy thing to look at, but it may be distracting or making your picture darker, so I would go up here to the menu view and then show and hide and you can shut that off show night zones we just shut that off there's lots and lots of functionality in the program and that's why we'll just go through and look at some of the things we might set up that makes the uh, the program look a little more uh, directly for us by the way it looks like I've already shut something off when you first turn the program on these instruments will be lined across the bottom here and we're going to use those later in the course but right now we don't need to have them taken up the screen and that's this blue button up here instruments on the map this 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 we're going to get rid of completely that's for uh, making large meters for uh, like an iPad and a smaller boat or an iPhone um, and so let's get started here so the way we interact with a program is there's three ways you have the toolbar this set of uh, icons along here is called a toolbar these determines the type of charts there's a uh, online charts a raster charts vector charts and, and this is, oh and I've got one missing the, actually when you first turn this on there's a one missing here there's an M up here I think we'll look in a minute because I'm gonna we're gonna go in and shut those off anyway um, uh, and there's different types of charts and then there's these various controls so let's look at how to maybe minimize minimize what we see here for at least for the time being and we've already shut off these instruments so let's go here oh and one thing let me another just a tangent here the menu I'm on a Mac and you see Macs have this property not so it's just the way they work right Macs so when I do this the menu bar for my main program that's stuck at the top of this page so if I'm here or if I'm looking at let's see I'm on a virtual machine so I just click the other machine I'm going to show you in a moment and it switched the menu bar to here if I want to look at the, my program here I have to click my program and get the menu back so it's something like that so that's now that's not the way the PC world works. Here's a PC version, which I drag in, and you see it has the window here, and the, and the menu bar is with the window, which one would have to argue is nicer. Up here, this button here, when the, the main configuration or preferences are set up, this is like your main, the main place you do most of your setup, they call it configuration. Is you could do Alt X keys to get it going. Alt X, and it's at the bottom of the of the link here. And uh, so if I do Alt X, do I see it here on this machine? Yeah, and it looks like that. Okay, now that's on the PC. Now when I come back over to the Mac, over to the Macintosh, I have to click this. I'm up here. The same thing down. Oh wait a minute. Oh, here, see, I'm looking down here. Here, it's up here at the top, and it's called Preferences. And here you do Command, Comma. That's, the, that's your control key here, Command, Comma. Now, when I first saw that, I thought that was a little unusual, but actually, Google uses Command, Comma for some of their controls anyway, so that's not so unusual. It, it doesn't matter. We have other ways to get to there, but that's our main workhorse screen. In fact, we're going to go back there now and start and we're going to preferences and then here is the appearance we're not we can come back to that maybe if we have time on this one but I want to go to the toolbar here and I want to let me 
let me minimize this. And these are, let's see to that. You see, oh, I had the M shut off here. We don't use those anyway. So, uh, so here then I made a little cheat sheet of the ones I want to shut off. That one's already off. And we're, this is another type of global training chart that's really popular throughout the world. And we'll look at those later in the course. And we're, and we're not going to use this light mode. And we're not using these big instruments over here. What do we got? This is redundant in the sense a lot of these buttons we can, we have very good controls on the in the um, we can do them with the key uh, with the um, right click and so forth and go to here. This is a powerful tool too that we'll use later in the course. Like a, the, turning on and off the AIS, this program has a very nice feature of being able to show us live AIS while we're doing our simulated uh, practice of uh, uh, following routes, interacting with traffic, doing things like that. And then we'll use these, but for right now we don't need them. Let's see, this is for uh, animating a weather, uh, grib files of weather, but we step through those by hand and the currents and so forth. We, we don't we can animate those by hand uh, and man overboard definitely we don't want when we're on, sitting at our desktop we don't need these alarms uh, we don't oh now we do need one. Oh, that's not shut off of oh, magnifier the compass is something we can turn on and off other ways and then you have this barrier that, that's a, that's for in the routing it's a function in the routing okay so these are the ones. So we're done then. Let's go back. Oh, okay. Now, now something important about the program and talking about it. You see, I have to pull this down. Every time you make controls in this, in this panel up here in the configuration, you got to be sure to set OK, right? And then now you see our menu bar is cleaned up. It's, it's just a little small. Now we're going to use this is like you, how, you, how you turn on a raster chart like that. Oh, and there are the charts here. You can see them barely. Now, there's various tricks and we're gonna learn this. One is you could use this button here and then just draw a little circle like that and then right click it and say zoom on selection. Or you can also hold the command button down and just do this and do it automatically like that. And then we're looking at the, at the raster charts which looks like they're, for some reason, taking a minute just to focus. Uh, and now we've got then the vector, if we want to shut them off, and then we can look at the vector charts like that of the area. So that's how you turn, uh, turn, the, charts, uh, turn the charts on and off. Um, let's see, the status bar is where, down here at the bottom on the status bar, is where you read the latitude and longitude of the cursor and the distance from the boat. You see, here's another factor. The boat's in France somewhere. So let's right click and move the boat here. Now, the, when you turn the program on, it's, it's set up or the default mode, you can change that, but the default mode is put the program back where you left the boat. So it would center right there. And so now, if I my cursor's out here, you see I'm, uh, I'm seven miles bearing 087 uh, true from the, from the boat. This no WP means there's no waypoint here, no waypoint. If I left that green button up there, but that means like this. If I right click here, I could, uh, let's see, make a mark. Let me just say okay, and then I take that mark and then I want to um, just go navigate to it, okay? So now I'm navigating to that mark if I'm if I am activated. Now it says that waypoint is that waypoint right here. So this WP down in the bottom is just reminding you what's the active waypoint. And then another trick is I can still, I can go up here and, well, I only have one, way, and then I can right click. I, I can right click and de delete all marks. That comes in really handy when you have a bunch of marks you want to get rid of, get rid of all at once. So um, that's maybe uh, all that I want to do at this moment. Then I will add, uh, I'll go back and go into some more depth, how we, how we set the size. You can change the size of these if you like them bigger, the size of this font and so forth. But let me stop here so I try to keep these at about, at these little tour, tour intervals at about 10 minutes.